What happens when the perfect plan starts to fall apart? The night was cold, the skies were pitch black, and the sound of wheels rattling over metal tracks filled the air. It was August 8th, 1963, a night that would go down in history as one of the boldest heists ever attempted. In the dead of night, a Royal Mail train sped through the quiet English countryside, unaware it was carrying a fortune, 2.6 million pounds in untraceable banknotes. That sum would be worth over 50 million pounds today. A group of 15 men, led by Bruce Ray Reynolds had meticulously planned this moment for months. They called it The Job, a perfect plan to pull off the heist of the century. The train was scheduled to pass through a remote area in Buckinghamshire, the ideal spot to strike. The robbers had already bribed railway workers and were even using an old farmhouse as their hideout, just a few miles from the tracks. They weren't just criminals, they were seasoned professionals. Some had military backgrounds, others had experience with past robberies, and they even recruited a man known as the Ulsterman, an insider who knew the train schedules and security protocols like the back of his hand. As the train approached, their plan swung into action. One of the robbers climbed a signal post and rigged the lights to show red, forcing the train to an unscheduled stop at exactly the right location. The driver, Jack Mills, puzzled by the sudden halt, stepped out to investigate. That's when the robbers struck. Wearing balaclavas and gloves, they overpowered Mills and his firemen, battering them into submission. Mills was knocked unconscious, a moment that would later haunt the gang. Inside the train, they quickly located the HVP carriage where the cash was stored. This was no smash and grab. The robbers used military precision, working in silence, communicating only with hand signal. They uncoupled the engine and the first two carriages and moved them a short distance down the track to avoid drawing attention. What followed was an astonishing display of speed and efficiency. Within 30 minutes, the gang had loaded 120 sacks of cash, over two tons of money, into waiting vehicles. They left no trace, no fingerprints, and not a single witness beyond the battered train staff. As dawn approached, the gang retreated to Leather Slade Farm, where they planned to lay low until the heat died down. Everything seemed perfect. They celebrated their success, laughing over their loot. But what the robbers didn't know was that their downfall had already begun. A simple yet catastrophic mistake was about to unravel their carefully crafted plan. Back at the crime scene, authorities were baffled. There were no immediate clues, no alarms had been triggered, and the robbers had planned every move with clinical precision. But as the investigation widened, the police received a critical tip. A local man spotted unusual activity near Leatherslade Farm. The robbers had been careless. Despite their best efforts to clean the farmhouse of all evidence, they left behind fingerprints on cups, dishes, and even a monopoly game they had used to pass the time. From that moment, the police were relentless. Within days, the farmhouse was raided and the first arrests were made. However, it was not just the carelessness at the farmhouse that led to their capture. A deeper betrayal lurked within their ranks. One of the robbers, Roger Cordry, had been arrested for a minor offense. To avoid a long prison sentence, he started talking, revealing critical details about the robbery. As the police closed in, some gang members fled the country, but it was too late. One by one, they were captured. The mastermind, Bruce Reynolds, remained on the run for five years, traveling across Europe under fake identities. But even he couldn't escape forever. He was eventually caught and brought to justice. In total, 13 of the 15 robbers were convicted and sentenced to long prison terms, some as much as 30 years. Their attempt to pull off the perfect heist had crumbled spectacularly. The robbery, initially hailed as a stroke of genius, ended in betrayal, arrest, and the destruction of lives. And what about the money? The authorities recovered only a small fraction of it. Most of the cash vanished, never to be seen again. So, what went wrong? Was it greed, pride, or just sheer bad luck? The Great Train Robbery serves as a reminder that even the best laid plans can fall apart with one small misstep. It became one of the most infamous crimes in British history, not just because of the audacity of the heist, but because it showed how even the most perfect plans can unravel in the face of human error and unforeseen consequences. 